subscribing. <laughs> I just got scared. Right up. See ya. house gaming and as you can see I'm perched precariously on the edge of the atmosphere of a planet uh, if you watched the live stream the other day this is the planet from well, the earth analog from there I want to crash the ship into um, I spent the last couple hours working on this ship and it's finally done uh, close to done it's sad, I think I've gotten to the point where I can't actually crash it. I mean, despite trying. Sorry, if, you, if you're wondering why it seems as if I'm a little out of it, it's because I'm just a little bit out of it. Um, I've been up for a very long time at this point. Couldn't sleep, figured I'd play this game. Um, and I finally got the Stargate mod to working again, so yippee ki yay yay motherfucker, we can actually go between planets. If I can get this thing down to where I need to, then I'll show you. I'm not going to turn dampeners back on, so I'm traveling in a straight line, based on where I'm pointing. Haven't done much to the planet yet. I mean, I built a few, well, a couple scattered bases plus the the easy stop or easy start base that you get when you begin. But outside of that, I've done more work on Midway Station, which is that way. Maybe if I can successfully land this thing or at least park it, then I'll be able to show it to you. Try to build the super gate like next to it but it wouldn't let me kept deleting it every time I placed it I guess the game doesn't like super gates right now but anyway uh, this takes forever sometimes I'm just gonna let myself fall for a minute hope I don't hit the ground it's weird though it says my dampeners are off but it's still showing thrust oh that's cool Classic space flight right there. I haven't quite hit the atmosphere according to this. Uh, oh, thrust towards the planet. You know in Minecraft they say never dig down. Well in space engineers they say never thrust down. Generally, once you get lower into the atmosphere, you get caught by... Uh, oh, there's the easy station. Uh, you get caught by uh, gravity build up so much speed going directly down that you don't have enough time to get back up. So, look at that. Thankfully, I have filled this ship to the brim with hydrogen thrusters and things such as that. So as long as I don't run out of fuel in the next few minutes, I should be alright. And even if I do, hopefully my uh, atmosphere engines will kick in. I've had some issues with them, and I only have a few rotors left, so I'm not putting too much stock in them. Actually, I don't have any that go forward, so I will You see, ion engines don't work so well in the atmosphere. <coughs> And, and the turbine engines don't work so well in space, obviously, because they need to push air through them. Or some kind of gas through them. Um, really, the only all-purpose uh, solution is hydrogen. I mean, you know, solid boosters or liquid boosters, whichever flavor of hydrogen you end up with. I think with hydrogen it's only liquid though because it, you know it's too light to condense into a solid at any temperature that's really possible. I could be wrong though. I'm probably wrong. I think I don't know. Anyway. I'm pretty sure the hydrogen's usually stored as a liquid anyway. Gotta get across the mountains to the easy station. As far as I know, that's the nearest Stargate I have. I don't like the fact that I'm going sideways. At 146 meters per second. It's a little disturbing. 
Well, that's why I put the big rocket thrusters on the sides as well as the back. Kind of like having a ginormous RCS pack on the back end of the ship. I wonder if those... Nope, oh, atmospheric thrusters still haven't caught. Then again, they are... I mean, there's no oxygen for them to operate in, according to this, so... And again, I never know whether or not that's the, actually just the inside of the ship, because I don't have any oxygen vents set up, so who knows. Maybe, oh, wait a minute. I did notice that some of the ships that uh, you start out with, they have vents on the outside of the ship that didn't seem to serve any purpose. Maybe that's why they have them. Maybe they're like ram scoops or something. Ram scoops, that would be a, a, a Star Trek thing. Never mind. Um, but yeah, maybe that's the reason they have those. Uh, I'm still going diagonally. I'm going to just kill, try to kill my velocity level off, hover for a second. Uh, put the bulk of my thrusters that way. There we go, I'm slowing down. I really need to get rid of that ludicrous speed script. It's a great mod, it just kind of breaks the physics a little bit. I gotta remember to bank into my turns too because my strongest thrusters are on the bottom. Well, outside of the main engines. Of which there are a few. You know, I really didn't think of making this, um, like, small enough to fit into a Stargate, but it kind of looks like it might work. Then again, my past history with, um, putting ships through gates has not been so well. Usually I either hit the ring right as I go through it, or hit it as I'm coming out. shouldn't take too long, right? Right? <laughs> Again, I apologize for my lack of sleep and how loony it may make me. I also noticed that I tend to um, not pay so much attention to the games I'm playing when I'm this tired. But I built what I think is a pretty cool ship and I wanted to show it off. So, here we are. But yeah, um, I didn't actually get to play this game when the Planets update came out, and I was really excited about the Planets update, so that was a bummer. But thankfully I did get to play well, after it came out. I actually tried to download the entire patch um, over my phone, <laughs> which almost cost me a lot of money. I had to cancel it about 500 megabytes through. It was funny though, because um, like the first few months after they announced Planets, I thought it was going to be like every Thursday. It's got to be this time. It's got to be this time. You know, just be disappointed again. But here they are, and they're so much better than I thought they'd be. And I had high expectations. Just from the teasers, I figured that they'd be awesome, and they turned out even better than awesome. So, you know, <laughs> awesome job, Key software house I mean dang all right coming up on the FSTC earth easy station thinking of renaming that bacon to easy stop because that's what I seem to like to call it I'm going 255 meters per second I'm not gonna slow down uh, shit I want to do a braking maneuver kind of thing to do Twelve thousand meters away, ten kilometers. Oh crap, I'm gonna overshoot it. Why do I always overshoot it? Now if we look around here, we should be able to see the wreckage of my large ship, which was a joint project, me and Azrael. We worked on it for several months and then got bored with it and decided me. Actually in that lake there on the right there should be a 
rover that I built from the projector blueprints. It kind of skidded off and went down into the creek. You know, I'm not used to seeing this place during the day. It's kind of weird. It seems like every time I go to the planet, it ends up nighttime. Hmm. Yep, there's a data list. You can almost see it next to the base in that crater. <sighs> Poor Daedalus. He flew too close to the sun. Alright, we're losing frames per second. I apologize if this gets incredibly choppy. Um, probably added out all these dead spots. Alright. Let's bank into this and see what happens. Hey, atmospheric engines have kicked in. That's great. This is not going to work. I think I'm drifting. Okay, I'm back within the realm of normal space engineers physics as far as uh, travel speed goes. Like I said, the, the physics get a bit wonky above 104 meters per second. Let's just hope I can land this thing without breaking it because I haven't actually copied it yet. Yeah, the Daedalus used to look like such a large ship until we put it into the context of... Uh, okay. Put it into the context of... Hey, this thing ain't too big. You know, compared to the ground. Alright, let's just gently dip down. Try not to crash. You know, between me and Azrael, I'm the pilot. Oh shit. This is not good. Oh shit. I'm gonna crash. Come on. Oh crap, come on, don't crash, don't crash. Don't crash, come on, damn it. I'm gonna crash. I should have copied this shit. Yep, I'm crashing. Damn it. <sighs> Nothing better than crashing in slow motion. And there we have it. Now I gotta start over. Yeah, well. I might be able to salvage parts of that. <laughs> ah, that took me a while. Ah, built it in orbit and everything. Damn it. See, I think a lot of this has to do with slow simulation speed because I'm getting six frames a second. Planets have a lot to do with that, but you know, they haven't optimized it yet. But oh well. Shit happens, I guess. Moving on. Let's head. Yeah, as you can see, this is not the first time I've tried to land one of these things. This is quickly becoming a ship graveyard. That's why I don't spend much time here anymore. Let's go to Midway. Chevron 7 Rocket. Stargate only lasts for a second, but it still works. And here we are. The mid, well, close enough to the midpoint between Earth and Mars. Midway station. And I love the way that lines up. <sighs> Alright, so. That's funny, I started this to brag about my new ship, and then it got crashed. That's great. Well, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and cut this off. But first, look at Midway Station. Pretty simple CubeSat, pretty much. Oxygen farms. Just one just observation window. Um, but yeah, there it is. 
Anyway, uh, I don't quite know what form this video will make it, you know. And we get much better frame rate over here. But, uh, thank you guys for watching if you made it this far. If you didn't, you don't blame me. I'm tired too. I probably fell asleep watching. Thank you.